I just think that we need to have a conversation. I don't mind, because I don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, part of our conversation that we need to have is I need for you all to understand don't fall for the okie doke. Now, this is Ray Goodman and Brown, but we're not going to be Ray Goodman and Brown tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be my playlist tonight. Eventually, I'll do the Ray Goodman and Brown playlist, but not today. You know what I'm saying? And what's happening is I have so many things going on that I have to get rid of some of the things that's going on because they're going way too much on and they need to be going off. This is Kenny Loggins, and he's going to be singing the theme song from the um, the TV series, Heart to Heart. You guys may not remember that 80s TV series with uh, Mr. Wagner, but this is the theme song, Heart to Heart. That's when artists used to come out with songs that were the theme song for music and movies and other things, and it worked. Ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be in our background. We got to talk about this. Uh, <laughs> how do you pronounce that name, ladies and gentlemen? Do you pronounce it like the media has been pronouncing it? Wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, people have been pronouncing this word wrong because the reason why they gave you that pronunciation because they don't want you to know what's really going on with this word. Now, I, I give Wikipedia some credit. Okay, I give Wikipedia some credit because somebody took the time to <laughs> let you guys know, okay, where the word is coming from. It is Omicron. It is not Omicron. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what a micron is? Okay, this is Omicron. It is not Omicron. But they have you saying that non scientific pronunciation of the word so that you don't understand that they created a word. Now, let's do what the O stand for, because whoever did this article recognized that it was the O was separate. Okay? Omega, not Omega, but Omega. Remember, they said they were creating a Greek name for it. Lord have mercy. Ain't that interesting, huh? That's been trying to open up for about 20 minutes for whatever reason. Ladies and gentlemen, when you guys understand why they put these words together, okay, this was a Greek word. They, When they said they were going to change the name, they specifically said that they were going to come up with a Greek name, okay? So, in modern Greek, Omicron represents the mid-back, round vowel. See? That's what they did. So, it's not Omicron, ladies and gentlemen. It's Omicron. Why? How do we know it's Omicron and not Omicron? Let's do this so that you guys understand. How thin is a micron? Is a micron bigger than a micrometer? Which is smaller, a micron? One micron or five micron? What size is a micron? Let's click on this one so that you guys will understand that they didn't just create this name. They knew what they were doing. A micron is a short micrometer, one millionth of a meter. Since a meter system is very rational, there are 1,000 microns in a millimeter and 10,000 microns in a centimeter. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Omicron. Not, oh my God, not that type of Omicron, but Omicron, as in Omega Micron. All you got to do is sit back and understand that they said they were going to create a name for this variant, which was originally called B. One period, one period, 529, B11529. This was the name they chose for it. Now, the other variant was Delta. Why didn't they choose another simple name? Why did they decide to create a transformer? 
I'm Omicron, and I am here to transform! Omicron, transform! It makes no sense. But when you look at the fact that they specifically were choosing this name, and they were choosing a Greek name, that it has an association with a god. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. They called it Omega. Okay? You guys have heard of Omega Supreme. Okay? I didn't do it, ladies and gentlemen. This was not me. I did not do this. Here, they will let you know of its... Pay attention. They will let you know of its Greek god history. Now, all of this about Latin, no, it has nothing to do with the Latin. It has nothing to do with the Arabic. It has nothing to do with any of that because they said they were going to create a Greek name. That was what the WHO organization, WHO? The WHO organization, WHO? The WHO organization. WHO is WHO? No, WHO is not WHO. WHO is WHO? Okay? The World Health Organization, ladies and gentlemen. They said that they were going to designate a Greek name for what was designated temporarily as B, 1 period, 1 period, 529. They said it. I didn't say it, y'all. Okay? So this is me bringing it to y'all's attention that y'all need to pay attention to what's going on. Okay? Y'all really do need to pay attention to what's going on because, look, this thing hasn't even been out for a week. And already there's mass hysteria. Why? Because this is let them letting you know that you're in for a dark winter. Go ahead and listen to the news reports and listen to how they're talking about how grave the winter is going to be. If this thing turns out to be blah, blah, blah. Didn't somebody promise you guys a dark winter? A year ago, did he not say that we were headed for a dark winter? A year ago, people. Don't take my word for it. Okay, hold on. Come on. If you really love me, won't you? This is Stevie Wonder, ladies and gentlemen, and he's asking if you really love me. My job from day one has been to provide you guys, and look, when I put Omicron with the hyphen, which you'll eventually see that they're going to do that same thing as they did with COVID-19. Okay, I guarantee you somewhere on some of their official paperwork, they have separated the O and the micron with a hyphen. I didn't say it. I guarantee it. Okay? And, ladies and gentlemen, even if they hadn't, you really do need to understand that they didn't just come up with the name O micron out of the blue. There is a significance with choosing that name. Okay? Just that simple. All right. Now, there you go. Let's talk about the dark winter. I'm just going to say, we're going to do the whole sit statement. Come on now, Omicron. Select the whole thing. It won't let me. It's taking its time. These are all the other select selections, suggestion selections. I don't know why it's not letting me click. It ain't letting me click, y'all. And it could be because it wants to start so many other things. See, it won't even let me click on that. Let me pause, y'all. The moment I pause you, it'll give me my... Like I said, the moment I pause you, it'll give me control. Like I said, it was only going to take a second. It don't want me to have control, though. So we're going to do it again. Uh, we... W I N T E R. I'm going to put that in quotes, y'all don't mind. Yes, I am love. Smokey Robinson and the miracles. You know, I did not know Ray Goodman and Brown were the moments. I, I did not know. I learned it yesterday. And I thought that was all right. The moments and Ray Goodman and Brown. Pretty good career, that group right there. Group of men. Cuba Gooding Jr. being the Goodman father of Cuba Gooding Jr. of the Ray Goodman and Brown group. Joe Biden says we're headed for a dark winter.
That was October in 2020. Let me ask you a question, ladies and gentlemen. Was he talking about 2020? Or was he not talking about what we're about to go through now? I told you guys, when they decided to lift the moratorium on mortgages, what they were going to do. So there is a case that I'll be getting the case number for, where the Supreme Court has just announced that the mortgage, and you all should have known this, you should have been arguing this, because the courts were operating on a presumption. The mortgage and the deed cannot be separate. If they file the case and they introduce evidence, they must present the note and the deed of trust. They cannot present one without the other. Those two items go hand in hand. Why? Because each reference the other. The deed of trust does not exist without the promissory note, ladies and gentlemen. The deed of trust does not exist without the promissory note. Look at the fact that it refers to a promise to pay. Well, where is the proof that there is a promise to pay? So how are they kicking you out of your house without you saying, hey, I promise to pay? Where's the evidence? They're operating off of a presumption. People have been saying for years, this is um, Robert Bookins and Stephanie Mills. This song has a lot of meaning to me, this particular version of Where's the Love. Ladies and gentlemen, people have been saying for years, you can't separate the note from the mortgage. But when they securitize that note, ladies and gentlemen, they securitize what? The deed of trust. When they securitize that mortgage, because the deed of trust is the mortgage, when they securitize that mortgage, they separate it from the note. That is their process. You cannot separate the two because they go hand in hand. People were saying this in 2012, and they were being kicked out of court where the court saying they don't need to separate it. I can show you tons of case law where the court say they don't need to separate it, where the Supreme Court has just ruled on Tuesday that the deed of trust, pay attention, the deed of trust is not the contract. The contract is the note. The deed of trust evidences the contract. The deed of trust is not the contract. They are saying that you have breached the agreement and they're only bringing in the deed of trust. They cannot do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing those of you with mortgages have to do is if you've lost your house because somebody came in with a deed of trust only and did not come in with the note, you go back in with a motion to vacate. The Supreme Court case, I will have that and I will do a video on it. You go back in listing that case, but you also list the fact that the deed of trust is not the contract. That the contract was the actual, pay attention, note. And the note could not be entered into the record by reference. It had to be in physical possession because you can't separate the two. Can't have one without the other, ladies and gentlemen. I hope some of you understand what I've just said. I Look, I haven't even read the case, and I already know why the Supreme Court ruled what they ruled. And even if they didn't rule that, none of you guys have been bringing that argument. No, 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 you've been saying you can't separate it, but you have not said, I'm sorry. Are you saying the deed of trust is the, is the, the contract between the parties that it is evidence of a promissory note agreement? Evidence of a promise to pay? Well, where is the promise to pay? Because I'm saying it don't exist. What do you mean it don't exist? Are you saying, I don't, don't ask me what I'm saying. I'm saying it's up to them to prove it exists, and I'm saying it doesn't. There's nothing on this record showing that it exists. I ain't got to rebut your presumption. You have to bring the evidence in. You cannot start this case without evidence that there is a controversy. They're saying, I, oh, I'm saying I owe them, mother, okay? So you, they need to have evidence. I ain't got to have no evidence. The way they know me, the presumption and the proof is on them. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody could say that there are Martians on the moon. That's just a theory. So the fact that somebody comes in and says, hey, here, here's this little uh, deed of trust. Says I'm the trustee and I got all the power. 
Really? Got the power over what? Well, they're, they're in default. They're in default? Default of what? They're in default of the loan. What loan? The loan that's referenced here. Well, where is the proof of the loan? It's referenced there. Where's the proof? What do you mean, where's the proof? You ain't never asked me for no proof before. What's going with the, you know, honor? Well, here's the thing, son. Son, you now calling me son? Is it like that? Yes, yeah, son. Uh, look here, son. Yo, 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 homie. Uh, let me tell you something. You come up in this coat with that little piece of paper, and you don't have proof that there's actually a loan? Uh, you ain't got no case. Uh, uh, they moved for dismissal, and I'm going to grant their motion for summary judgment. Ladies and gentlemen, you have the summary judgment motion. I will, if I get a chance, add that language to the beginning of the summary judgment motion. But for right now, you add the language. Everything that I just said, go ahead. Okay. Anybody who got a securitization done, it proves that the note and the deed were separated. Ladies and gentlemen, run with that. They can't separate them. The two go hand in hand. That's why the deed of trust references the note to begin with, showing how the two goes hand in hand. That's what the Supreme Court just uh, decided. Now, I know the conclusion of what they decided because they just had the case on Tuesday. I had somebody who was on that call. I just don't have the case information yet, but I will have it, okay? The person I'm getting it from, they got a court case tomorrow where they got to file some things. So I will call them after that because I don't want to overwhelm them like people are trying to overwhelm me. Look here, everybody. I don't mind answering one or two questions, but some of you are coming at me with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten questions. No, y'all gonna need a consult for that bolt, okay? Just that simple. You got a, a question, a simple question? Hey, I'll answer it. But if you got one of them complicated questions, oh, hey, look, uh, my mama just got arrested last night, you know, because I, I had her hold something for me, and, and they arrested her. And so now they're talking about they're gonna take her house. Oh, she's still in jail. They say she got a $100,000 bond. And we, we, the house ain't got that much equity in it, so we, we can't even put up the house. Yeah, she's she just going to be stuck in jail. I just need to get her out. You got a money order or something I can use to get her out? That's, that's what I go through, people. I told people I was going to put together the motion for challenging. Hold on. Let me see if I can uh, let you guys see. These are the four different motions I'm working on, ladies and gentlemen. Four! It doesn't take five minutes to put together an affidavit, especially a template. Ladies and gentlemen, that junk don't take a couple of minutes. And it has to be done right. It can't be done half anus. So y'all will have to wait until I finish. I know you in a rush, but I done told you people, this is winter time. I slow down during the winter. So you are on my time. And if you don't like that, I tell you what. I would go into the hospital, put on one of them hospital gowns, and turn around so you can kiss my... I'm sorry, I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to say is stop asking me about doing something to benefit you. Okay, that is very selfish of you. Lee, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about the other people who are doing the same thing. See, Lee has a right to ask for that. Because I told him first before I told any of y'all. So he has a right to do that. The rest of y'all can kiss my... Anyway. Woo-sa, 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 woo-sa. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got finished on a Sunday when I'm not supposed to be doing anybody's work on Sunday. And I really haven't been doing a lot of work on Sunday. I've been doing a lot of paying attention to the talks. There is a two-hour... Jehovah's Witness talk on there about uh, trust Jehovah with all your heart or trust in Jehovah with all your heart. And I've been listening to that three times last night, this morning, and this morning again. And ladies and gentlemen, while listening to that, it did what it was supposed to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know what's going on, but my system is having a problem. And I don't know what it is, but it ain't charging like it's supposed to. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on. Now, that's just one of them. And I believe it is the charge controller that's the problem. Okay? Because we got plenty enough electromotricity going. Because I have two different charge controllers, two different solar systems hooked up in this place. 
and I just got another inverter, and that inverter doesn't work, so I got to send it back. Amazon, take your junk out of here. And so that's the case. So I got a lot of things going on, a lot of things I got to take care of. And ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are, I got people contacting me on my personal email about company business. Ladies and gentlemen, I've already told you all, you don't get to contact me on my emails, under my videos, or on my phone about company business. That's not permitted. I don't give up who the, you think you are. Okay? I've already said it too many times. I know some of you are ignorant because you don't listen to the entire video. You only listen to what you want to hear. I have somebody, look, hey, 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 hey. 2000 zero, zero party over. It's out of time. What is it out of? Time! Morris Day. Tonight we're going to do what? I had somebody email me twice telling me that this law has been repealed. Pay attention. Ladies and gentlemen, that the national emergencies have been declared terminated. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> how many times have we told people that they did terminate other national emergencies? But the provisions in 2039 and three other national emergencies were not terminated. Why? Because they needed to keep the sanctions on China, North Korea, uh, what is it, Iran? I don't, I don't think Iran was in there. North Korea, and I forgot the other two countries. Oh, Cuba, Cuba, and I forgot the other country. Ladies and gentlemen, I've also shown people where in 1976, when this act was done, they say it was 1982 when it was taken care of. 1982 only amended. Pay attention. 1982 only amended this title right here. 95A. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who that was, but I figured they're going to call back because they called and it hung up. And so I'm about to see if I've had a call from this person before. I don't know. That don't make no sense. I call details. That's why I need to go. No, only one call. Oh, well, life goes on. Careless whispers, y'all. And no, that can't be him because his is 814. Sorry, I have a friend who's a peace officer, and he lives in Texas, and this person was calling me from Texas, and so... I figured it could have been him, but it's not him because he first would not be calling me this late in the day for Texas time because even though he's a peace officer, well, he's a, he was a sergeant the last time, and so I know he's pretty much making it uh, to what you call it. Give me one second. There is a... Uh, give me one second. I, um, that is from somebody who's incarcerated. So that makes a lot of sense. And the person decided to hang up after they called. They didn't continue to call. They hung up to send me a text message asking me, is this okay? Is this a good time to talk? Ladies and gentlemen, because the person is incarcerated and we're talking about that person, I'm going to take that call. The rest of you don't get to call me on no Sunday. You follow me? And this person's calling me on my number number. The only way they'll have my number is if I dialed them from my number or gave them my number. Okay? Now, those of you who are using 95, uh, 12 USC 95B, you need to understand that that law has been repealed. It technically wasn't really repealed. It was moved. Where are they moving that, honey? They moved it to Title 50 of the U.S. Code. Okay, we've already done the video on that. So look, the next time those of you who think you know more about this stuff than I do, and you want to send me some junk and you don't do your research, you just want to read and take it for what it says and not do the research and understanding what actually took place here, the emergency that was declared 
in 19, pay attention, 33, March 9th, was not repealed. 2040 did not repeal the banking holiday. It did not stop you from being a national banking institution because it's a federal law that makes you a national private bank and not a state private bank. Pay attention. Sorry, I apologize. There's so many people out there who think they have a better grasp at this stuff that these 34 plus years that I've been doing this has all been for nothing. That I, they know just as much as I do because they've listened to a couple of videos, read a couple of court cases. I have produced over 10,000 videos on YouTube in the last 12 years. No, the last 14 years. Over 10,000 videos where I'm talking to nobody about anything else but the law. And you don't hear me going off of what somebody else is talking about. From day one, you don't hear me talking about, oh, yeah, and such and such, such and such. I heard this and I heard that. You don't hear me talking about what I heard. What you hear me talking about is what I know. There's a big difference, ladies and gentlemen. A whole big difference. So again, those of you who have mortgages, you do need to listen to the beginning of this video after the COVID stuff. Again, because we're talking about COVID, mortgages, and the Banking Act. Correcting those individuals who, I don't know where they're getting this from. You can tell by their communication that they don't know law, but yet they're trying to explain the law. Ladies and gentlemen, stop trying to act like a lawyer. Many of you are trying to go into court and you're trying to act like lawyers. Stop trying to be lawyers. Take your anuses into court and just talk. You don't have to use no special language to talk to the court. Challenge the stupid idiots. I apologize. I know it sounds easy, but then when you try to implement it, it's difficult because you get nervous. That's your fault for getting nervous. You're going to have to work on that. You're going to have to imagine that so-called king sitting up there in that black robe as being naked because the king has no clothes. That's the whole premise of the story, ladies and gentlemen, of the wizard. The wizard has no clothes. He's a short man who has really no power. His power is all the illusion. So challenge their authority. Challenge their statute. You're operating under what statute? Okay, well, no, don't worry about it. I'm challenging the constitutionality of that statute, and I'm bringing forth a verbal motion of challenge to the constitutionality of that statute. And since this attorney and all attorneys are under the attorney general, by the way, the attorney general is an officer of this court, right? Well, then I have to also challenge that practice as well, especially when you make all attorneys officers of the court. You can't do that. That's a violation of the separation of powers clause. There was no constitutional provision giving you the right to make an attorney an officer of the court. Attorneys are part of the administrative branch of government. If this is part of the judicial branch of government, separation of power says you can't do that. But again, there are people out there who know more about the law than I do, and they understand what I just said, and they've been bringing that argument up for the last 80 years, which they haven't. I'm giving you all just the plain facts. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that was George Michaels, and he was talking about the last dance and the whispers that are careless. You know, sometimes whispers can be careless. Hey, why are you whispering in my ear? Don't you care? Okay, so sometimes whispers can be careless. But in his case, and his buddy with Wham, it wasn't careless. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to listen to this video. 30 minutes worth of information that should be beneficial to at least one person. And if it benefits one person, then I've accomplished my job. As a matter of fact, I've done what I set out to do. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, take care of yourselves. Stay out of trouble. Stick to the facts. Stick to the foundation. Do not just run because somebody gave you a little bit of a crumb. A crumb doesn't fill you up. Get the entire story. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.